Hello, it's time to place dominoes. Let's play pips. We'll start with the easy puzzle as usual. Okay, what do we have here? We need three. Okay, so we, we need either the double two or double one to go in. Oh, actually, it won't be. Well, no, I was going to say it won't be the double one because we need that for the two region, but we could put a zero two in the two region. We also have greater than four, which could only be a five. So that we may as well put in. Okay, um, we now need... So we need three of something. We have three twos. We don't have three ones. So the three, the twos do in fact go there. Fine. That was straightforward. And then the other two points out into the equivalence region. The zero, which can't be a three because that'll break the inequivalence, points out there. We now do put the double ones in the two. And finally, we avoid breaking the inequivalence with this empty domino. There we go. Yeah, this was two of four. This was longer because I was trying, I was here for a couple of minutes trying to, um, resize the puzzle so that you can see as we go into the medium. I was trying to resize the window such that you could see both the name of the game pips and the dominoes, but they've they've written the website in a weird way where no matter how big or small you make the website, it always pos repositions it such that the dominoes sort of poke outside of the visible area unless you scroll up so you can no longer see the name of the game, which seems very strange. But anyway, that's how the website works. So <laughs> wasted a couple of minutes trying to get around that and I couldn't. Okay, we have um, a 15 above. Oh, we have two 15s. Right, interesting. So we need a total of 30 across those. Um, that's interesting. Plus a three. So let's see. We I guess what this means is we'll need three fives in one and two sixes and a three in the other. I mean, that's, I think that's, that's pretty clear. Um, and then we need something greater than two, which will have to be a three because all of our fives and sixes are spoken for in the fifteens. Yeah. And we have one of our threes spoken for in the three. So the other greater than two will also be a three for whatever that's worth. Um, I don't think geometrically anything's constrained just yet. So what that does also mean is that we can't use three in the equivalence regions, which means we'll need to use twos. So we've got two, six, two, five, and two, three. Okay, we need two twos down there. So what that means is we'll need the three and the six because um, we can't sort of pollute one region with one fifteen region with both sixes and fives, or we won't be able to finish because we don't have a four that would be required to finish that. So now we need another six to go into the three. Now we need our other three to go into the fifteen, so that is forced. Now to, in the greater than one, we need a two, and finally we finish the fifteen with another five, and there we have it. Okay, that was the medium puzzle. Let's try hard. Uh, here it is. What do we do with this? Okay, what about our ten? We need a six and a four or two fives. We have both of those at present still. We have a three sized equivalence region. That could be sixes in theory. It could be ones. If it were sixes, would that cause any problems? The 10 would need to be two fives. Is that fine? Actually, no, that's not fine. Because, yeah, no, it's not. Because if, so if we, if we put all three sixes in the equivalence region, yeah, we'd need to make the 10 out of two fives. We only have two fives. One of them would need to connect to the greater than one, which would have to be the five six. And that, that breaks immediately because now we don't have enough sixes for the equivalence region. So that's not sixes that go in there. Um, it's not zeros. We don't have enough of those. It's not ones. It's not twos, nor threes, nor fours. Wait, I must have missed something. Oh, no, it is ones. We do have three ones. Sorry, I just miscounted that. Yes, that, that's it. That's what it has to be. It has to be ones. Okay, so one of them pokes in from the top. The others will currently could still poke in any direction. We also don't know which what the 10 is. We could have a one going across with a four to the 10. Then we'd need a six connected to greater than one, which would only be a five. So it might actually be this. Let's just see if this is right. No, it's not because then the equivalence region can't be filled because we don't have double of anything. So that I could have seen earlier as well. We need the equivalence region pointing out into the 10. So, um, 
So that means we need a greater than one also, well, we, we always needed a greater than one connected to the 10, but then also the 10 connects to the equivalent region, equivalence region. So we've got um, three ones in the three sized equivalence region. And then what can we put in the two sized? We could put sixes. We've got another two sized equivalence region as well. So we, we put sixes presumably in one of them and Could it be fives in the other? If it's fives in the other, we'd need, the 10 would have to be six, four, and then all of our sixes would be spoken for. So it could work, for instance, like this. Well, yeah, maybe. Six, five, and then we'd have a five, zero over here, or something like that then we could put a six one to point up into the ones a six zero over here no then we need greater than four actually that doesn't work didn't think about the greater than four the greater than four is a five or a six it might be a f uh, i guess it could technically be either although if it were a five we then wouldn't have a, a, we wouldn't have, we would no longer have two fives for the other equivalence region. So we'd have three ones up here, we'd have, and then we'd have two fours and two sixes. But if we did that, then we don't have enough to make the 10. So the greater than four, I think, does have to be a six. I think is what I'm taking from that. So we could put a one going that way. Um, and then... So now our equivalence regions are fours. Now, actually, if those were fours and sixes, yeah, then the 10 would be two fives. But they could be, yeah, the equivalence region could also be fives. I don't really know if I'm getting anywhere with this. Um, this one needs to point down which means the other, sorry, this, this one in the equivalence region needs to point down. So it's either a two or a four. It can't be a two, so it would have to be a four. Then we'd need another four going elsewhere. We only have one of those, so it would have to be this. Then our last one would point up. So now uh, we basically just need to get our other equivalence region and the 10 figured out, which means... No, I don't think that works either. Oh, no, it does work. It does work if our other equivalence region is zeros. Because then we can put zero, zero, five, and six. Okay, there might have been another way to do that, actually. I'm not sure offhand. But that one that one worked. All right. I haven't still haven't really figured out the best way to go about tackling these, if I'm honest. Um, but, but anyway, there were the pips. <laughs> Got there eventually. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.